Hey, what's up, guys? I got a question from a gentleman. He's a little bit uh, unclear on square waves, uh, pulse waves, and pulse width modulation. So think of it as um, all the way on and then all the way off. They basically use square waves and they modulate the pulse to power things like, you know, motors or fans or whatever. Uh, and it basically, it looks like this up here. This is our square wave, and it sounds like so. It's imperfect. Um, so basically, it's, you know, it, the duty cycle. This is called the duty cycle. It's on for as much time as it's off, right? So that's basically how you get a square wave. So um, the pulse wave is a duty cycle that is not the same as um, its off state. So this would be, you know, a pulse. This would be another pulse, right? And that is uh, South One's pulse. Um, I'm gonna open up Spire here. There is a way uh, to modulate the pulse or adjust the pulse width. We're not gonna modulate it. We're gonna adjust the pulse width. So here's a square wave in Spire uh, and you can modulate not modulate, you can adjust the length of the duty cycle till it even disappears. So you have a silent oscillator, which is pretty weird. Right, so that has a, a really interesting sound. And, uh, the Nord can also do it. Uh, and we're just going to listen. Uh, this is a square. We're going to adjust the shape, change the duty cycle. So this would be uh, like a PW or pulse width option on any synthesizer that does it. Sounds one does not do this. So what is pulse width modulation? Well, you modulate the pulse width. So I have it set up so we can just modulate it. No hands, and we can adjust the speed. So what does that mean? Okay, well I'll give you I'll give you an example. So we're gonna open up our virus here. So when you think of uh, pulse width modulation, in synthesis in synthesis, think of like 80s or 90s. Think of like the old Junos and stuff like that. So we have our uh, square wave here and we can adjust our pulse width and that's all well and dandy uh, but what we'll do is we will map this to oscillator one pulse width you can see that fantastic the amount set it here i'll bring i'll bring up our signal analyzer once more all right so we'll have to set this to like somewhere in the middle We'll do the same for this, set it somewhere in the middle, and then we'll mix them. Once we have this one, we'll have this with a attached to a different LFO to modulate the pulse width. Uh, so oscillator 2 pulse width. We'll have this, I guess, differently, kind of like that one. We'll have this at a different speed. Once we have that one at that speed, oscillator 2 at that speed, and oscillator one at this speed. So you mix them together. You get kind of like a, a very interesting pad sound that sounds rather vintage. So what you what you do from then is you'd increase the release time, have, uh, add the attack time, add some attack. I mean. rather 80s uh, and from there with the miracles of modern synthesis you can bump up the unison and you can get a very interesting sound and it's great for pads so you know that's just from a very simple shape a simple on off shape just 
and uh, changing over time, uh, and it kind of simulates uh, two oscillators kind of beating, but you have it with one sound. Uh, can't do it in um, Sound One necessarily, uh, but you know, a lot of synths they have pulse width modulation, or like a pulse width option that you can, you know, map to an LFO and change it around. So yeah, that's basically that's basically it. Hope you learn stuff. Um, yeah, take care.